Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. Today is the first of several videos I'll be doing on the SRAM access system. I'll demo the entire process of how you go about installing the access app on your phone and how to configure each component to personalize each of your riding preferences. Okay, let's get to it. In today's video, I'll start off with a brief explanation of what SRAM access is and what it does. I'll then explain whether you need to use the app at all. I'll show you how to install the app on your Android or iOS smartphone. And finally, I'll demonstrate how you go about connecting and configuring each of your components to the overall access ecosystem. So what exactly is SRAM Access? Yeah, you probably know this already, but all my videos are longer than they should be. SRAM Access is more than just a wireless group set, as has the capability to control more than just your drivetrain, brakes, and gear shifters. Currently, Access can also be paired with a RockShock Reverb Access dropper post, as well as compatible front suspension forks and rear shocks that are part of the RockShock flight attendant system. Flight Attendant is the newest and greatest and ridiculously expensive wireless and fully automatic suspension system first introduced back in October 2021. You can be sure that SRAM will add additional components to the Access ecosystem in the future. Beyond the integration part of Access, the system is designed to be highly cross-compatible. With only a few exceptions, any component labeled Access can be paired to a system with other Access components. So you can mix and match parts like never before. And this includes compatibility across the various disciplines of cycling, being road, gravel, and mountain bike. One of the best examples of this is with a gravel bike setup, where you can choose to pair a SRAM electronic road group set, like Force or Red ETAP Access, with an Eagle Access rear derailleur and cassette, basically giving you easier gears for what is essentially a road bike build, what is often called a mullet build. Before I show you how to use the Access app, I should answer the obvious question, do you need to use the app? The short answer is no. Provided your Access system has been installed correctly and all components paired together, you can run it just fine without the app. That's what I did for my first few rides. But at some point, you really should start using the app to gain more control over all its features. With the mobile app, you'll be able to set button functions, customize shift modes, check battery levels, update firmware, and remind you when components need servicing. So now that you've bought into the idea of using the Access mobile app, the first step is to install it on your smartphone. The app is available for both Android phones and iPhones. Download the compatible version for your device. Make sure your Bluetooth connection is on. And then go ahead and launch the app. As a first time user, choose sign up to create a new account, agree to the terms of service and privacy policy, and confirm being over the age of 16. This will take you to the sign up page where you can select which sign in method you'd like to use. I want to use my email address, so I'll select the last one. I'll then enter my email address, choose a unique password, confirm my password, and then click on sign up. That will then send me a verification email message to activate the account. Go to the verification email message in your inbox, click on confirm my account. Give your bike a bit of a shake to wake it up and then reopen your access app. Here you'll be prompted to set up the profile for your bike starting with a photo. You can take a photo on the spot or choose an existing photo previously taken. I'll choose to take a photo now. I'll need to grant the app access to my iPhone camera and then I'll take a photo of my scalpel. I'll select Use Photo in the bottom right corner, click on Done, and it'll take me back to the previous screen. I'll give my bike a name, and now I'm ready to add my access components to my bike. Before you go any further, make sure your system components are all charged. You don't want anything to die on you during the setup process as it can easily mess things up especially when doing firmware updates. You have your warning. Next, make sure your system components are charged and awake. Briefly push on the access button on the rear derailleur to ensure it is detectable. The green LED will briefly light up. Press add components on your bike profile. It'll begin connecting to your primary component being the rear derailleur. This may take a few seconds. 
Once connected, it'll prompt you to press and hold the access button until the LED blinks slowly. Release the button and then hit Authorize on the app. Once authorized, it will take you to a screen where you'll be able to add your individual components. My bike only has two, an XXSL rear derailleur and a Pod Ultimate controller. Of course, your system is likely to be different than mine. Usually the app will recognize and automatically connect to all components in your system, provided they are still in awake mode. If one of the components isn't showing up, first try tapping the access button on the component that isn't being recognized. That's usually enough to wake it up and let it connect. You can also add individual components manually by selecting the plus sign at the top right hand corner of the screen. All my components are connected so I can now go on to the next step. Select your primary component which is your rear derailleur and it'll bring up a screen that shows you the model number, serial number and firmware version currently installed. If your system is not up to date with the latest firmware, it'll tell you so. Mine requires updating, so I'll press on the exclamation mark. Click Install. It'll prompt you to press and release the access button on the rear derailleur to start the update. During the update, you'll get an amber flashing LED light on your rear derailleur, and you'll see the progress of your update in the pink bar. Take note of the warning message on the screen that tells you to keep the access app active and in range the entire time. So don't walk away from your phone during the update. Interrupting a firmware update can really mess up your system, so don't get this part wrong. This process does take a few minutes, so I've sped things up here. When done, you'll get a notice that the update was successful. Click Continue to bring you back to the bike homepage. The app should reconnect to your access system and display a green band indicating your bike is ready to ride. If you want, you can go back to your components page, click on your rear derailleur, and verify that the firmware is updated, which I can see that it is. Now that your Access app is properly set up, your components are connected, and the firmware is updated, it's time to customize your controls. Of course, the options available to you will depend on what Access components you have installed, which likely differ from mine. Mine is quite simple as I only have two components. I'll start by selecting Configure Controls, which then brings up the default button setting for my Access Controller. It's configured for the top button to make upshifts and the bottom button making downshifts. But I can change this around if I want to. I like it as is, so I'll leave the settings unchanged. Next, I'll select Drivetrain Settings and toggle on the Multi-Shift option. This allows me to configure the number of shifts while holding down the shift buttons. You have the option to select two, three, or all gears in the multi-shift option. When done with that, go back into the drivetrain settings and click on Micro Adjust. This is where you can make minor adjustments to the alignment of the rear derailleur during shifts if it's not shifting smoothly. Typically, if your access system has been correctly installed on your bike, you'll rarely, if ever, need to make micro adjustments. So I won't demo that process here. But if you do need to do this, just follow the simple prompts on the screen. Like I said earlier, depending on what access system you're running on your bike, you may have more configurable options available to you. But the process is identical to what I've shown you here. So that is pretty much it for my demo on how to use the Access mobile app to configure and control all your individual components in your Access system. Stay tuned for more demos I'll be doing on how to get the most out of your SRAM Access equipment. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe as it will allow me to produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.